It comes from above. Yes, you shall be a source and avenue. A fountain that will not run dry. That no man can trace the source. I said nobody can trace the source. You don't. I said no man can trace the source. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God.
Bible says that let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Without his breath in us this morning, we won't be up. And the only reason he gives that breath is to praise me with it. He didn't attach nothing to read, he said, Praise me. Let everything that has breath praise you. We just spent some moment this morning just to worship him. Just knowing that you are alive today, just give him praise. That's more than enough testimony. Believe me, brethren, that's more than enough. More than enough to express gratitude to him. He gave you his breath. Hey, Kataposhi. Him this morning. Hallelujah. So I want us to do it from the depth of our heart this morning. Let it come from the bottom of your soul. Be glorified. Be glorified. Oh, we sing this song. Be glorified. Oh, you speak of the fire. As you sing it, think about the things he has done. Think about what he has done. As we lift our voices, we sing, be glorified. Yes, Lord. deserve all glory let the whole heavens bow before him the beasts of the field the birds of the air the lilies of the valley all creation he is the king the king of the universe he holds everything We worship 
afresh renew us Lord from within cleanse us Lord from within make us the vessels oh God that carries your spirit spirit of the Lord your presence is here Father, because we are gathering in your name yes your word says where two or three are gathered there you are in the midst of them. Your word said who shall ascend the hills of the Lord who shall enter into his holy place. Clean hands and a pure heart. Father Lord we honor you this morning. We bow before you. We yield ourselves to you heavenly Father. Take preeminence this morning. Amen. Take control this morning. Amen. Have your way, oh God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Jesus, 
the name above on me. Jesus, the only name through which all prayers are answered. There is none beside that name that can ascend the heavens for answers. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There's salvation in the name of Jesus. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. Redemption in the name of Jesus. Only in that name. For God himself invested in that name and given a name which is above every name. The name above every sickness. The name above every pain. The animation of that name. Every knee shall bow. Battles are won. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Everything we must receive from God comes through the name of Jesus. We honor you, O God. The Bible says there's no name given. There is no name given among men by which they can be saved. No one has said, try me, try it and see. There is no foundation can any man lay than that which is laid which is Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are hearing me this morning you declare him the foundation of everything. Anything that is not founded on him it won't last. Like a man that built his house on sand. But the name of Jesus is a solid rock. The name of Jesus, the Bible says, is a refuge, a hiding place. The name of Jesus is a strong tower. The believers, the righteous, call it upon that name and they are saved. Power in the name of Jesus. It's power in the name of Jesus. It's power in the name of Jesus. Yes, it is. It's power in. There's salvation in the name of Jesus. Salvation in the name of Jesus. Salvation in the name of Jesus. Yes, it is the salvation in. There's healing in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, sing this morning. Hallelujah. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of the Lord. The Lord has given that name that anything you want in life that you believe God should be part of it must come through the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. 
We bless your name, O oh God. You are worthy. We join the host of heaven. Say, holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God. Who was and is and is to come? Thank you, Father. Speak to us, Lord, this morning. Empower us with your word this morning, with knowledge and understanding. Guide us in your path that we hear from you. And we understand how we should function. As believers, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. You're welcome this morning in Jesus' name. This morning the Lord have a word for us. Three things a believer must watch out for. Three things through which the devil comes. Every aspect of life through which the devil approaches the believer comes through these three doors. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. These three principles, the devil will do anything. It, those three comprise of everything he does to take a believer down out of their faith, out of their walk with God. If he doesn't succeed with the loss of the eyes, he will try the loss of the flesh. If he doesn't succeed with the loss of the flesh, he will take it further to the pride of life. Those are the three things. Even the lust of the eyes, it can use diverse avenue, only just that one. Many channel to see if he can succeed. But this morning we're going to learn something that will make you an overcomer. To make you what? An overcomer. Even if you fast, even in your highest level, the devil will still make an attempt. And he will use these three things. He will he, he can come with one of it in diverse ways, and it's still the same thing. Turn to somebody this morning as a guide your mind with all diligence. Turn your Bibles this morning to Matthew chapter 3. Matthew chapter 3. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. I'm going to read verse 16 and 17 that we go into the test. So we know that the devil has been watching. Because a roaring lion is roaming about, seeking him we may devour. Verse 16. And Jesus went, and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water. And lo, the heavens were open unto him. What a blessing. How many of us do pray for open heaven? Hallelujah. When the, open, when the heavens are open unto you, the kingdom of darkness are in trouble. Every other thing closes. God will pour out everything around you, everything that you need. But the Bible said the heavens were open unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting what upon him. Verse 17. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. That voice announcing Jesus, my beloved son, 
that sound that voice make sure everyone hears it this is my son don't you know how blessed you are for God to call you my son my daughter hallelujah the devil don't like that if you lost that place he can never be a son it can never be part of anything of God. Hell has been designed for him already. If God calls you my daughter, my son, that's all you need. Nothing matters. Whatever you go through after that, it has nothing to do with anything. My son, this is my son. You're going to know that the devil was listening to. Don't you know the things that God declares to us sometimes? And as the manifestation begin to take place, the devil sees it. Hallelujah. In whom this is my beloved, not just son, my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And it's true, it, the Bible says, God so loved you and I, and he gave us this son, so we can be also become what? Beloved sons and daughters. For God so loved the world that he did what? He gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. That anyone that believeth will not what? Will not perish by what? Have everlasting life. The devil will do anything he can to throw you off through three principles. Chapter 4 of Matthew. After that announcement, chapter 4 amen then was Jesus led up of the spirit into where into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil but the beloved son led by the spirit into the wilderness when there is a conviction inside you that you are a child of God and the spirit of God is in charge it doesn't matter where things are going God will turn it for your good shout amen God can never make a pathway for you that will lead to evil or that will lead to tragedy or that will lead to sorrow no it might look in the eyes of men that is going towards a wilderness direction or is going to a desert direction but he's about to manifest himself as a way maker in the wilderness and as a one that can bring river out of the desert that your eyes might be open and understand that he is God because he's about what? manifesting himself talk to somebody the Lord is about to manifest himself in your life in your situation no matter what is going on in the name of Jesus if you desire the manifestation of the Lord in your life wave your hand hallelujah shout amen it might not be pleasant but you will see it hallelujah it might not look in the eyes of men to be something good but you will see it people might not want to go in that road which is wilderness i don't want to go but yet when the way is made when god make a way everybody say wow i didn't know it's going to be like this what are you doing in the desert sorry i can't hang out with you but by the time they come back they see rivers wow what are you doing in this beach it was once a desert yes because the lord has manifested himself he was led by the spirit to be what tempted brethren the tempting of jesus is to teach us how the devil operates is to open our eyes to the devices and what the tactics of the devil it is good you know who the enemy is are you with me this morning verse 4 hallelujah verse 2 and when he had what fasted 40 days and 40 night he was afterward and hunger verse 3 and when the tempter came to him he said listen to the first thing the devil the tempter said if thou be the son of God Go to verse 17 of chapter 3. Let's go back. 
and lo a voice from heaven saying this is what my what my beloved son you know the devil was like a son to God when he was created worshiper he was made to worship and he's no longer if my beloved son in whom I am what well please you remember what he did with Adam did God really say now after 40 days and 49 I mean somebody has been heated up you still have the nerve to show up don't tell me the devil won't try you that is the moment he should have stayed away but yet he showed up in the heat and look at the question I think I heard something oh Lord have mercy learn something from that today did God really bless you do you think that blessing is really from God I know somebody who got that same job like you why do you say it was God that blessed you you know I think you got it because you were smart you are intelligent you went to school you are the best in your class that's the reason why you got that job don't say it's God that's what the devil wants you want to make sure glory don't go to God are you getting it did God really say you, you know how good you are as a driver when that car was coming how you navigated and escaped the accident you are that good don't tell me it's God did, did God really save you with your good driving skill if you are hearing that that is the devil don't you see how fit you are because you eat all the best food you have the nutritionist you have a nutritionist that that's put your food together that is the reason why you're healthy not it strives you know how could somebody be weak for your healing does it make sense that's how the devil sounds so he massage your ego so you feel you're something and you feel what you are doing and what you're accomplishing is by your own power and I can tell you many believers are becoming like that I heal the sick when I was walking people were falling go and watch go and see what I, I did in this nation I did in that Jesus performed some miracle I didn't want nobody to see it go and show yourself but don't mention me he told the lepers go and show yourself he, and he did not follow them he healed the man with he said go and show yourself to the priest and he did not follow them the man that picked up 38 years that was a credible miracle that somebody could put up on a b-board and show off with it and yet a man with 38 years he said go pick up your mat and go and when they questioned the man he said i don't know who told me are you hearing me this morning that's the true anointing whom glory should go to god a blind man how could you open your eyes on a sabbath day i don't know the man i was once blind but now i can see who is the what is the name who is the person i don't know if jesus our example could step back that glory goes to god who are we to walk around thinking we woke up this morning because we're that good all glory goes to him and this is a question the devil have done to many believers that will begin to walk around with an entitlement mentality the day you can quote a memory verse and remember it day and night you think you are better than everybody when you preach and you teach you go and check and compare my preaching and that person's preaching which one is better may god have mercy on us this scripture what you preach is not right i think what i preach is right when we all stand before god we realize who is the pastor brethren you are only called as a shepherd as a teacher to minister through the spirit and give to everyone what the lord has laid in your heart to do but you cannot pastor jesus you are not jesus pastor are you hearing me this word of god you have nothing to amend in it it is written and so shall it be if you try to make sense of it you become foolish because the bible says it is what spiritually what design to the foolish man to the natural mind it is what 
foolishness the carnal mind cannot what understand it no matter how strong are you becoming a believer you when you are caught up in carnality in material things in wealth in acquisition these scriptures will begin to go foolish in your head you begin, begin to think it's not written well why because of what you are possessing and you think those that are not possessing it are not holy you think god is with you because you are making money and you are getting rich then bill gates and uh, elio moss could be holy ghost filled with with fire and, and what are, are you hearing me this morning if it's by money you none of us stand the chance and look at this foolish devil <laughs> god said by my stripe you are healed you are coming to ask me hear the question let's go back are you with me this morning i want you to understand this and when the tempter came I, what verse are we verse 3 he said if thou be it's not saying you are or you are not are you familiar with that question in the book of genesis did god say the same pattern this old guy never changed he's a cripple I mean he fell from heaven I mean I don't know how you still walk around you crawling with his belly asking you why are you standing on your feet if thou be which means he's casting doubt the son of God command that this stone be made bread listen to him the, the level of deception please pay attention that is the reason why we have to be very careful write these things down i beseech you if god is using you and god is blessing you and god is moving in your life please i beseech you from the depth of my heart stay small in your own eyes never you make that mistake to see yourself better than anybody if you must ascend high and grow high and be lifted listen he said humble yourself under the mighty hand of god don't square your shoulder and chest out for any reason if you are used to greeting people that you think you only respect greet both you respect and those you don't greet the old and the young greet the rich and the poor humble yourself go down low are you hearing me today i don't care what you have Amen. i don't care who you are and that was what entered the head of the devil when god made him and said i am the worshiper i light up the heaven when i lift my voice the whole place melt i am just too beautiful i am just too good of a singer of a worshiper of an instrumentalist i am too talented people should see how good i am sorry go down low quick first peter said to us humble yourself why god is using you under what the mighty hand of god because there's a season of lifting up and bringing down in due season when it's time for lift up god will look at your level say no i cannot lift this one up because where he is he already lifted himself up there are seasons that come for lifting god say no let me keep this one here for a while if i lift this up above this level it's going to crash your way up is to stay down and so he's coming to jesus i want you to look at this there's a deception under the question command that this stone be made bread he is the one giving the command it's not he's, he's not trying to complain to say i am commanding you he's trying to hide the command under the demonstration of you proving to him that you are a child of god holy spirit so when you now do it he's not going to say look i made you do it but you did it because you want to let me know that you are the son child of god but actually you have found yourself under the supervision 
of the devil demonstrating god's power for a show and performance and that is the reason why it has become what a theater broadway show that when miracles are done come and tell this it, it becomes a display and it becomes for sale and that is the root of the devil and hear this this morning in case you are listening it has captured many believers because the moment that happens you are no longer walking like a, like a human being you are walking like a little god huh everybody want to touch you because the power is you now in the name of jesus verse 4 but he answered and said jesus himself the living word he said can we read that together he said i can't hear you he said why will he go into what is written why not just answer from your intelligence can i tell you one of the problem believers let us brethren let us get this clear anywhere you are around the world please watch out for this the lust of the eyes the lust of the flesh and the pride of life those three things do not go into what is written they go into what they know let me tell you what i know so you've not been around when i perform my miracle when i do things i have the power watch stone become bread that's what you want i am a son of god i'm a child of god but hear this this morning you don't have to validate yourself whether they believe you are a child of god that is their opinion whether they don't believe you are a child of god that is your opinion whether anybody believe god is using you that is your headache whether they don't believe god is using you that is your problem whether they believe you are moving forward or not that is their own you cannot adjust who god has made you to be to prove to people that god is at work no because why deep down within them they know who you are and what god has made you to be no man can utter it if you are hearing me shout amen he said it is written for what man shall not live by bread alone but by what every word which means if it's god that have asked me to turn this stone to bread i will not you the one that called me his only begotten son if he said my son turn this stone to bread i will do it but you that is asking me what is our relationship are you getting what i'm saying today can you shout me what 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 bond what connects us that should make me even turn stone to bread because i am hungry trust me if i turn the stone to bread and it become real bread you won't let me eat it because the one that gives all that owns you the devil is mad he's crafty he's deceitful jesus said but when we go into what is written man shall not live by bread alone. what god has given you the anointing upon your life is not about your belly if your eyes is about what you will eat and it's about your belly yourself your self-benefit your self-gratification your self-exhaustion your self-praise your self-elevation you are going down quick and it's a step that the devil takes he might not do anything then say good job now you turn the stone to bread now i agree you are the son of god i never knew you are but now i know you are which means you guys are now what friends bodies so can we hang out now now that you are and you begin to walk around you are no longer under the one that calls you my only begotten son but you are now operating as a only begotten son under what the rule and the direction of the one who has massaged your ego and your pride has effect his pride has affected you and you think you are still operating in god but you've lost your place that will not be your portion if you are understanding this morning shout amen, amen. i pray the holy spirit open your eyes 
learn to go down to what is written thou shalt not live by bread alone no matter what you face what is written what is God saying and if you have not heard from God wait he will speak to you but he wasn't he didn't get it enough because when Jesus went to what was written he said it is written now he understood something that Jesus is about what is what written in a split second pay attention that is the reason why brethren the Bible said be diligent be diligent the devil captured Peter in that principle when God just said to Jesus said to Peter's flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my father which is in heaven Peter did not kept a diligent to what it is what was just said he began to feel so powerful wow jesus have just validated me and he looked at the rest of the disciples are you hearing what i'm saying and i believe they were to sleep together but peter said i'm going to separate my bed from these guys who really don't hear from are you hearing what i'm saying <laughs> listen to me if god is using you please mix with people are you hearing me don't try to isolate yourself as the anointed one and when you walk around people you i mean you you he quickly said, and that's how the devil prayed. And the moment he did that, the devil said, go back. <laughs> go back, go and tell him he's not going to die. As long as you are here, you are here to. And he, Jesus, uh, there's another thing I want to tell you. Go and read the scripture, the same line of verse. There's something that I feel the spirit. Now he's becoming spiritual. Because now the father spoke. Which means just as the father speaks to Jesus, he speaks to me too. So Jesus got to listen to me now. Now he wants to pastor Jesus. And he truly entered a belief system. Making him understand that what is happening now is from heaven and is from God. He has no idea he has been caught behind the enemy line. He has been caught by a high level of deception. And the devil is trying to infect Jesus with it. But Jesus is steadfast. Jesus is no... You, I know you remember you say you're going to die on the third day. Jesus, you're not going to die. No, that cannot happen. The only one that's trying to go into outside your purpose is the devil. The same lips, Jesus said, Get thee behind me, Satan! Peter must have been looking for Satan around. Because this cannot know. Satan cannot be using me. If you brag that Satan cannot use you, you are a fool. Give him a chance. He will use you and useless you. By the time he finishes with you, you won't even know it's Satan. You think he's anointing. Hear this. You will think God is using you. You are powerful. No, the devil is operating. And at that point, let me tell you, when the devil wants to start operating, the first thing he does is to take off your eyes so you cannot even see, you cannot even hear. When somebody is trying to advise you, then that person becomes a problem. Brother, you, you are, who are you to talk to me? Do you know the other day heaven spoke to me directly? Were you there when Jesus said, the Father spoke, not flesh and blood? So you're not, who, who are you? How many miracles have you performed in your life? When was the last time you heard from God? Then you begin to walk around with what? With a track record of the miracles that you think you have done. You've lost it. You're not living on yesterday's anointing. Yesterday you were once on the pathway to heaven. Today you have no idea you're on the pathway to hell. But your head has swollen. And the devil said, come on boy. Come on. You are just too good. You're the best pastor. You're the best preacher. No. You've lost it where you are no longer small in your own eyes. We are hearing this this morning. We just finished 31 days. The devil, with all the damages you have done in his kingdom, you think he's going to fold his hand? Keep your eyes open. Turn to somebody say, keep your eyes open. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, is roaming about looking for seeking for one opportunity to tell you what you have just done is going nowhere shout amen and when jesus now said it is written let's go to verse five then who the devil taken him up 
into where into the holy city and set him what on a pinnacle of the temple verse 6 and said unto him again if thou what be the son of god he still want him to change that thing do you know sometimes that people can be persistent to make sure you open your mouth and confess certain things i remember talking to somebody in florida one time i said what are, if you have this i said i'm not going to have it no i know you say you know what 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 but eventually you have what you're going to i said i am not going to have it so i don't have to talk about what i will do if i have it i i understand what you're saying i know what is so it but what about if it happens i say it cannot happen and it's not going to happen it, it came through i mean i don't know how many diverse ways just for me to say what i could possibly do what would be my action i say because it's not going to happen it cannot happen and that's the end i was blocked out of the phone till today i was blocked out shout amen and i refuse it because the moment you begin to explain it's like somebody saying tell me how much beans and rice you're going to stock when the rapture take place i ain't stocking no beans and rice after the rapture are you hearing what i'm saying <laughs> Look, I'm not going to be here. Are you getting what I mean? Is somebody here with me this morning? I, I know, I know. I, what if it happens? I say it's not going to happen because I ain't buying no rice and beans. Amen. Dry beans. <laughs> Load up with fridge with McDonald's. I, I, I mean, I'm not putting nothing there. I know. I, I understand what you're saying. But what if it happened? It's not going to happen. I understand, but how many are you going to buy? I ain't buying. Are you, are you, I'm not buying anything. I'm not being helpful. Get it into your head. That is the world we are in today. You say, okay, okay, if it happens, and I will buy 10 bags of rice, I will buy. Are you serious? 10 bags of rice is going to keep you. You won't even have so much to eat. Can somebody say, Lord, have mercy? So he went further. If thou art be the son of god cast thyself down now he didn't he knew jesus said it is written so he went for that for it is written oh so you don't have anything to tell me now about what is written let's go into what is written since that's where you want to be for it is what written if he shall what look at the word he used he he shall give his angel charge concerning thee and in their hands they shall bear thee up lest any time thy dash thy foot against a stone oh my god the devil quotes scriptures do you know devils are quoting scriptures today he knows the word he was so precise he went down to the bottom and that's what god said but he said he, he didn't want to say god said hallelujah you know a lot of people instead of saying say i i i i i, I give god the glory i i i i, I. They, 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 they demonstrate something and point finger so you take you know what they mean they don't want to open their mouth as god they know him as god but they don't want to open their mouth and glorify him as god I want to give thanks. Thanks to who? I just give thanks to who? It's an incomplete statement. Are you, some, even believers in the public sometimes, it's only in church they say, I give thanks to God. Even in the public, I give thanks. Why? They don't want to offend the atmosphere. Come on! If you deny me before me, I will deny you. That's a denier. I bluntly asked people, I said, listen, I heard you say give thanks. To who? No, I just give thanks. To who? Because you must learn to give thanks to God. I want to give thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That name is trouble. Yes, you don't like it, I'll call it. 
who have delivered me who have saved me who have redeemed me I don't know if it was NBA this young boy that was just drafted I don't know if it's San Antonio he was drafted and he was even interviewed and you know after a game they, they have a press conference and he sat and he said before the press start I just want to give thanks to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I mean the whole press froze and he said please write that at the beginning of the interview write that on your when you are writing my story please make sure that is the beginning of what I said don't tell me how many shots I missed I would have done on the game as you write those stories make sure that starts it takes a lot of courage because now you have been labored you have been marked but it takes a lot and I believe he has waited for that moment and I can guarantee you it's a vow probably he made God if you give me this platform are you hearing me so it's not saying that like something just want to flash around I strongly believe in my spirit that it's a vow that he made that if I get this platform Lord which means you know how many millions of people try to get to that level he said I will call your name because if, if I listen to it I could see him taking a breath putting himself together he took put that word together and load it out I could see a shock wave in the press probably they rec- took a while for them to recover to start asking him questions because from there on he's not the one answering it anymore Jesus and Jesus will defend him he said he's telling Jesus what is written so we shouldn't go about disputing what is written and sometimes we can hear fashion twisted so that it could validate what we do verse 7 Jesus went back and said I'm still going to repeat what is written are you hearing me Jesus said unto him it is written again thou shall not what tempt the Lord thy God so that verse of God send his angel charge over you is not under you tempting him because Daniel went to the lions then doesn't mean you walk and open and tell them open the cave you want to go and say hi to the lions sorry sorry are you hearing me the lion you know <laughs> that shall not tempt the Lord thy God I heard a prophet who did it somewhere in Nigeria for his members to see that he is a powerful man. That was a fair way. The lion ate. I think after three days he could not even rec- he ate and was one spot. And all they have to do is find a way to bring his bones out. Daniel did not walk into the lions there. It was in his will to go there. He didn't want to. Go, he, he didn't desire to go there. It's not a show off so he can prove that he's the Daniel made son of God. And so God have to defend him. Amen. And the devil knew this person is staying with what is written again. Watch that word. Jesus said what is written again. Because you are only reading what is written. But you have to know what is written again again the devil taking him up into what a exceedingly high mountain pride of life fame position and show him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him all these things will I give thee First and foremost, tell me what you own. Who owns the kingdoms of the world? God. Does the devil own anything? No. Because he's a thief. Anything you find with him, he has stolen it. Anything you see in the devil's house, flash screen, he stole it. Fridge, he stole it. Even broom, he stole it. He's a thief. Your shoes, anything you see him wear, is a thief. Even up to his boxer, he's a thief. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Believe me. The, it's not something just accusing. What did the Bible call him? The thief. He cometh not but to do what? To kill, to steal, and to destroy. That's it. So, you know, 
to, even to the lowest of the box it's a thief even a sponge you use is he stole it soap is anything you see him have he stole he's a thief and that's what he is but he can't steal your joy he cannot steal your peace can you shout him into that he can't steal what god has given you he's trying to steal you who you are as a child of god what god has called you that you now become his no no you are a child of god you don't have to prove it to him he said i will give you all these things and the glory of them and he said to him because on those first two jesus did not bow to him all these things will i give you if thou with what fall down and worship me so all along all he wants is to be like god want to be like god mentality want to be like god on earth want to walk around that you are called god and i see a man say he's too holy to walk on the ground and he has to have his members carry him on a chair <laughs> you've not seen anything brethren he's too powerful there there are devils shout amen they have to carry him as he's coming down from the vehicle the chair was placed there they fall they have to carry him find a way so his foot doesn't walk on it God, turn around and say lord have mercy have mercy yes there are devils he has his ministers who are so anointed by the devil and he has been able to convince many to believe him. listen to me raise up not on raise that's why they have him on the shoulder if raise turn raise he will not only run on the ground he will crawl and hide and then jesus then said jesus unto him get thee hence satan for it is written thou shalt what worship the lord thy god and him only shall thou worship what you have received this morning guide it very well guide yourself very well because it is the most slickiest thing that you might not even know when your inner man your soul began to operate in it never you think you're better than people don't walk around with a holier than thou attitude many that jesus used are those that say i am nothing lord i am not worthy i am not good enough stay small in your own eyes that was what destroyed Saul. the lord said when i made you king there was nothing of kingship in you when i sent somewhere to anoint you king Saul, there was nothing in your father's house that qualified anybody to be king the word i saw in you you were small in your own eyes that was the qualification that means you never walked around priding yourself of your accomplishment what kept paul i am speaking to us this morning we're going to prayers and thank the lord to this anointing what kept paul paul says in spite of the wonders that god is doing in my life it's part of the power of god moving paul speaking great anointing and move. he says i glory in only one place in my word infirmity I will never disconnect myself from where he picked me from. I was on the way to Damascus doing my evil enterprise and Jesus met me. He referred to where he was picked up. Listen to me. If you forget where God has picked you up, which means the devil has taken over you. If you are no longer glorifying God from where you picked up, 
if you're no longer thanking God from where he took you from nothing and you are not priding yourself because you have car now you have houses now you think you are better than your classmate your classmate didn't do enough for you to be where you are were you the best in the class were you the best among your father's house but his mercy brought you recognize that mercy that brought you glorify him for where you are today thank god that you are able to have what you have and remember this he didn't just bring you out so that you can glory and rise no for many to be blessed there's a reason why he has brought you that you might impact those around you and let them know that i am still the god that is able to lift up and manifest in the life of people are you hearing me you are to speak an assurance in the heart of people that i was even worse than where you were God could have sent the spies into a holy house, but yet he sent them into the house of Harlot. Harlot rescued the spy. Jesus could have programmed it so he could meet with a holy woman who just left church and said, let me stop by Jacob well and get some water. No, he left, he met a woman with how many husbands? Seven. Jumping from one man to another and sometimes we believe us when we walk past such a woman we feel like mm, god have mercy on us oh look, look at her she she she, she, she this this year she's with you you i, I can't believe i i can't you you have your bible going to i can't believe like, you're going to you you are justified and you are coming from service you have no idea the woman you saw in the morning has a counter christ in the evening the revelation you have not received for 10 20 years of your christianity this woman received it at one encounter with jesus and yet the pastor will shout and scream and yet you get nothing but this woman had counter with jesus once the pastor will pray pour oil up you you stone up with your arrogant holy attitude and yet this woman had one chance i said i see the one that the prophets speak about the seven husband lifestyle did not stop the power of god god is teaching us something hear it she left her bow how many of us will leave our bow i know how much i bought it I'm not going to leave it here. If somebody come and get water, they might take my bow. The Bible says she left her bow. Ran into the city. I have seen the Christ. I know he's the one. He told me things that the prophet, the word of God confirmed. Even when I felt unqualified, do you know who I am to give you water? Jesus said, it doesn't matter. You know who is asking you for a drink? How many of us will allow such a woman give us a drink? Because we have become so holy. Because God has done two or three miracles through you. You become so anointed. The Bible says she rushed into the city. And the people believed her. An evangelist. The Lord is teaching us what is written. Stay small in your own eyes. He said i use the foolish to confirm the wise if i have to use any more i take the weak to confirm the strong if god is to pick somebody who will run 100 meter race for him in the olympic he will not use usain boat because when usain boat run is the crowd that clap but he will use somebody a cripple that when he first of all got there he has no leg to put on that thing where they set because when that cripple is coming out people will start laughing and making jest are you with me how did he even made the finals ka, 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 ka. those of you that laugh at people you hear me today stop it because at the end of the race the law will zip the mouth of everybody <gasps> because nobody is clapping there heaven is clapping who is the child of Jonathan that should sit down with David on the palace 
we must understand the principle of God. Why am I saying this? The devil will use this story principle of what? The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life to rob you and I of the manifestation of God. The stand up this morning. That will not be your portion. I want you to pray with understanding. If there's anything that have grabbed your spirit today, making you feel you are not good, you are not worthy, think about these things. Stay on what is written. By his tribe, I am healed. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. Can you speak? He was bruised for my iniquity. Speak this morning the promises of God. I will dwell on what is written. He is my rock. Jesus my shield. He is my buckler. My foundation. In him will I dwell. My, my shepherd. My shield. Lift up your voice. Every deceitful approach of the enemy. Grace to be small. Grace to humble. Grace to say in his face. He is the reason for my season. He is the one that is in charge. The reason why you are alive. He is your health. He is your breath. Oh, None beside him. He is too faithful to fail. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I will glory in my infirmity. I will glory in the place where he brought me from. I will glory because I was once dead, but now I'm alive. I will glory because I was once blind, but now I can see. I will glory because he brought me this far. I will glory because he took me from the bitter water into the twelfth stream. He glory. I glorify him. I glorify him because I was once on the other side of the Red Sea, but he crossed me over. He's the one that opened the sea. He glory. I glory glorify him my way maker in the wilderness where everyone left you by the time they come they see a city in the desert where there's no drop of water by the time the people come back you are living in an ocean ocean of his blessing he is faithful say Lord give us the grace to stay small We destroy every spirit of hidden pride. Pride is caught up in competition, rivalry, better than thou attitude, holier than thou attitude, greater than thou attitude, richer than thou attitude. We come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not dwell in your life. It will not dwell in your home. It will not dwell in the life of your children. In the name of Jesus. Laughing at people attitude. That will not be your portion. Amen. Looking down on people. That will not be your portion. He is the one that lifted the weak. The God that could call David from the bush. The bush for become anointed. Even before the face of his glamorous brothers. The God that yes, took Joseph yes, from the dungeon of the prison yes, and lift him overnight. That is who you are. The Glory to God Almighty. The, of the spirit of the pride of life will not find us. Amen. The spirit of the lust of the flesh will not find us. Amen. The spirit of the loss of the eyes will not find us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please let us pray one more time. Yes, we come against every twisted Jesus. version of the gospel. Of Jesus, Father, we come against we every Christ twisted Christ. version of the gospel. Le Kabadosha, every lie of the devil trying to have you validate, prove if you are a child of God, prove if it's God that did it for you. Are you sure it is a mirror? Are you sure it's God? Are you sure? I don't think so. Somebody who, yes, it's God that did it. In the name of Jesus, 
Yes, Lord. Father, we There's no way you and I could have made it this far except by his mercy and his grace. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. One more time, I want to thank the Lord for the miracle of last Sunday. Father, thank you. Thank you. After we shed in the grace, the enemy came. The glory to God. It is the Lord. Yes, Lord. We glorify him. Thank it is the Lord that have mercy you, upon our mother. You, thank you, Lord. Thank we give him praise. Father, you will live to the fullest of your age. Amen. Yes, Lord. No yes, power Lord. can cut your life short. Amen. The day the Lord says you will Amen. depart, you will go in joy and in glory. Amen. And the chariots of heaven will take you Amen. home. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. No man will take glory in your life. Any man that says without them you cannot make it is a lie. Amen. Yes, Lord. Declare to me tonight. Declare this morning. Say, Jesus, you are my source. Jesus, you are my source. My provider. My, provider. my very help in my time of trouble. You are my going out and my coming in. I travel on the road. I travel by hair. I travel by sheep. I travel by land. I travel in the sea. You are everything. I travel by foot. You are everything. You go in the gas station. You are everything. You go in the grocery store. You are everything. Jesus, you are awesome. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Can the church shout a big amen this morning? Amen. Let the redeemed shout a big amen this morning. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Ezra chapter 14 verse 14 says, The Lord, the Lord shall, shall fight, fight for you, you and, and you shall hold your peace. God bless you. Amen.